Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Must Love Labs. My name is Alan. On this channel, we discuss tips and tools for how to raise, breed, and sell Labrador Retrievers as quality family pets. So if you're new here, you might consider subscribing. In today's video, we're gonna talk about litter pan training for puppies. Let's get to it. All right, let's talk about litter pan training. Now, in a previous video, uh, we showed you how to do a whelping box on a budget, and I showed you how to lay out a piece of linoleum and put an eight panel pen around it, uh, have mama nice and comfortable in a kiddie pool, and uh, you have a litter of puppies, and everything's nice and quiet and calm, and mama dog's pretty much cleaning up after those puppies for the first couple of weeks. There's a little bit of a mess, but you really don't notice it because mama dog cleans it up. Um, and, um, and for the first couple of weeks, that's pretty much how it goes. You see some soiled um, uh, whelping pads and, and, and whatever, small messes, but not too much. About two weeks, their eyes open up. They start looking at the world, start moving around a lot more. When they get up to about three weeks old, this is when we're going to bring them out of the, the kiddie pool, if you will, and out into the pen. And we're going to start introducing mash to them and helping your mama dog feed those puppies. At about this time, their poop is going to change. It's going to get bigger. There's going to be a lot more of it. It's going to get smellier. And if you don't do something to address the poop and the pee in the pen, you're going to have a huge mess. Uh, and when, when I first started doing this, I was no different than anybody else. I really didn't know what to do. So we were just in constant cleanup mode. Uh, we had a bunch of those, uh, um, a, a roll of paper towels and uh, the puppy pads that everybody buys and puts down. And uh, we were just constantly cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning up. And I thought, you know, there, there's got to be a better way to do this. Uh, the, the puppies are running back and forth and, and, and playing in it and just making this <laughs> huge mess. And mom and dog's looking up at you and she's like, hey, are you going to help me out with this or what? Um, and the answer is yes, you can definitely help her out with this. And let's show you exactly what we do. We're talking about using a litter pan here. That's what we're going to do. It's a litter pan. Okay, so we've got a 24-inch rabbit hutch litter pan from tractor supply it's about two inches deep it's 24 inches wide and this is perfect for doing this and what we're going to put in it is pine pellets you get these at tractor supply as well a 40 pound bag of these is like seven dollars they're super cheap and they work perfect it's just pine that's been run through a pellet machine there's literally nothing else in it it's perfectly safe Puppies can crunch on it, even if they swallow some, it really doesn't matter. It's ultra absorbent. Anytime moisture hits it, it just sucks it up and swells up. And you can clean this out with a scoop, just like cat litter. Hey folks, if you're getting value from this video, do us a favor and hit that like button. It really does help out quite a bit. And thanks in advance for doing that. Okay, so let's talk about how we're gonna get these little guys going potty in the litter pan. Uh, it's scent training. They don't know where to go. And most of the decision, decisions that they make are guided by their nose. So this puppy is looking around and smelling around for the right place to go pee uh, and potty. And their day really just exists about eating and, and walking around and going to the bathroom and then going back to eating again and sleeping in between. So we can take some of their own mess and put it in the litter pan. And we can also cut up some of those uh, pee pads that everybody buys that we were talking about. You can get those at Tractor Supply as well and put the little squares of those that you cut into the litter pan like you see here. Now that stuff is specifically designed with scent attractants in it to help the dogs learn where to go to the bathroom. So you put these in there and start encouraging them to go that way. Instead of cleaning up all their mess, you can put some of that in the litter pan too and you start scent training them to go towards the litter pan when it's time to go to the bathroom. And it's the neatest thing. It, it takes them a few days, but really in less than a week, uh, they'll figure it out. Most of these dogs are pretty smart 
and you'll have these this crew of little little puppies that are heading over to the litter pan instead of just going all over the place. Uh, they'll even get mad at you if you don't clean it out for them and, and put it back in there. They'll be looking up at you like, hey, aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> and there they go. They just figure it out. They're, they're pretty smart. And you, you get a few days to do this. You can scoop it out just like cat litter. And the stuff that turns to powder has absorbed uh, liquid. That's what this stuff does. It reverts to powder as soon as it gets wet. Uh, so once a day, you just dump the whole thing and, and fill it back up. And I put just enough in to cover those ribs on the bottom of the pan. It doesn't need to be any deeper than that. If you make it deeper than that, they'll just start playing in it and digging in it and throwing it all over the place. There's not much point. Uh, so just enough to cover up those ribs on the bottom of the tray. You know, we're talking like a half an inch deep here. And, and that'll do it just fine. So you're going to have some near misses. And it'll take them a few days to figure it out. But they will figure it out. And sometimes you'll have a slow learner in the group or somebody that just refuses. But for the most part, they'll get with it. And as they get a little bit bigger, you'll find out that they start to like to play with those pee pads. <laughs> so you really only get a few days with these pee pads and then they turn into toys. You get maybe a week out of them tops. Uh, they'll turn into toys and the dogs will start ripping them up and dragging them around. And, and you, you, you learn real quick why you can't use these pee pads as a permanent solution, at least not with Labradors. There may be some breeds that leave them alone, I don't know. Uh, but my Labradors just turn them into toys and start tearing them up. Uh, so, but at this point, they've pretty well learned how to use the litter pan. Uh, and once you see them going in it uh, somewhat reliably, then you, you don't have to keep putting those little squares in there. Uh, that, that's just to get them started. Uh, they figure it out there from there. They're, they're pretty smart. Once your puppies get to about five weeks old, they're going to get bigger. They're going to need a bigger space. We take them out to the puppy habitat out in our shop. It's a bigger space and it's got a bigger litter pan. This is the 36 inch litter pan from Tractor Supply. It's a rabbit hutch litter pan. It's, a, it's just bigger. Uh, I don't get one any larger than that because it wouldn't fit through a regular doorway and you wouldn't be able to take it outside and clean it up. So 36 inch litter pan is what they, they grow into. And at that point they're using it pretty reliably. And all of this is to help them get used to going outside, which is where we really want them to go. And you can take some of those same pellets outside to wherever it is you're wanting them to do their business and put them down. They'll find them and figure it out. If you'd like to learn more about becoming a dog breeder, we've got a playlist that'll help you with that right here. And if you'd like to watch the questions and answer videos that we have, we've got a playlist for that right here. Thanks for stopping into Must Love Labs. We'll see you in the next video.